Can you hide from thermal devices using tarps or emergency survival blankets? This is part two, military grade edition. Let's go. Many of you guys will remember part one where we took a Leopold Tracker 2 basic civilian thermal device, a pretty decent quality one, and we just tested a couple materials to see what I could use to hide from that device with. So the bonus for today is we are using a military grade system. Due to the sensitive nature of this device, there are certain capabilities and functions I am not allowed to show you guys. Everything you will see is public source information. You can find it in the technical manual, which can also be downloaded. But unfortunately, I also cannot tell you the model. If you have served and used these devices, you can probably take one look at the screen and be able to say exactly what that device is. With that being said, I know we're going to have a little bit of a periscope quality. That's part of the mitigation I have to use to actually be able to show you this video. So you're gonna have to deal with the smaller view and the lower quality, but keep in mind this is necessary and it's not going to interfere with our major question. Can you hide from military grade thermal devices? So a few controls for this experiment. If you remember part one, I only used two items. That was a emergency survival blanket and my standard camping tarp. Both worked as long as my body heat was not up against the product, especially for an extended period of time. Many of you guys asked about the same variables, so that's what I'm gonna cover real quick. The ambient temperature was around 50 to 55 degrees. It did start to cool off a little more on us, but it didn't drop below 50 degrees that night. All the products I tested, I left in a bag sitting outside in the shade away from the sun just to gradually take in the ambient temperature. So when I first don these pieces of gear, they are ambient temperature, and then you will see the temperature change. Two of the products that had already worked before, the tarp and the casualty blanket, I had my assistant put them on him to let his body heat heat them up, and then I would don them. All right, so first I'm just casually standing there in my regular street clothes just to show you guys what all is showing up on me. I uh, just got some standard jeans and my, I think it's a light jacket because it is a little bit cool. This is the Army ECWCS level seven jacket, what I call the marshmallow jacket. I just wanted to see if it would trap in any heat. Obviously it does not, but compared to my hands and head, it does trap in a little bit of heat. So now we're gonna throw up the original casualty blanket. They're all about the same. This is that kind of heavier one with the reflective inside. So as shown in the first episode, it will block you as long as you are not touching it, warming up the material. However, this device also has FLIR, and as you can see, it creates a giant reflection off of the casualty blanket. So it'll block your thermal signature, but you're going to have some shine in that device. Now, this is like a cheap car windshield protector, either from the sun or some people use them to keep their windows from frosting. And there you go. Smaller shine and no thermal signature popping through. So all this reflective material, it's going to give off a shine in FLIR. So now we're going to show my most recently reviewed Bushman Thermo Tarp. It's basically a camping tarp with a reflective inside, and it is the only thermal tarp I have tested so far that is actually tough. This one does not give off as much of a shine in the FLIR, and it's also blocking my thermal radiation. Another thing to take into consideration is how close the tester is standing to me. He is about 50 meters from me. So if you imagine this being a very dirty tarp on the outside, or we threw some mud and some brush around it, and somebody's looking from you from a lot further away, yeah, they're not going to see your signature or a shine. So now we're trying the survival heavy-duty blanket again, but uh, after my assistant had been wearing it for a while. So you just see its IR reflection, and it's it looks like the whole thing is heated up. So now we're trying a product called the Jervin Feldduken. I believe it's Finnish, but it's a pretty heavy duty 
hunter style reflective poncho pretty good to have around you can zip it up so you can turn it into like a bivy sleeping bag and you can see it blocks my body heat pretty well but it does have a shine to it in the flare as well look at the comparison between my lower legs and feet and where the blanket is on me you can notice a pretty significant difference now the last one is to bust a prominent myth in the military community. We've always been told that our chemical suits can block infrared as well as block our thermal signature. So these are brand new j list out of the package. Never used them. We're going to don these and see if that myth holds true. You can already tell from the jacket that I'm almost glowing. So we'll go ahead and put the pants on and see. As you notice, it does break up the IR light pretty well. However, my thermal signature does still stand out. At least we proved one theory to be correct. The J-List will actually block or diffuse IR signatures. So guys, what items disappointed you and what items surprised you? Let me know down in the comments. I know for me, I was surprised to see that $2 car windscreen protection thing actually work. That was one of the best items. So that was a big surprise to me. Even with my hands holding it and it up against my body, it wasn't enough to warm it up and show me through the site. That was pretty cool to learn. Another thing is that we busted a myth that I heard in the army through my 19 years of service. And that is our newer chemical suits actually can block thermal imaging. Well, that's not true as you guys can see. I lit up just like I was standing out there naked, didn't make a difference. Thanks for the kick in the pants to get me to put up the second part. I hope you guys enjoyed it. These tests were interesting and entertaining for me as well. Thanks for the support, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe. And until the next video, I will see you guys in the outdoors. Take care of yourselves.